Hey guys, my name is Savannah and today we're talking about the second screenshot reveal that we saw today for the new Grasslands pack coming to Planet Zoo on December 13th. We got this adorable little picture of a tail in some long grass. Planet Zoo is doing a wonderful job at doing this like sneaky half reveal, give us the full screenshot later kind of thing. They also revealed the hyena as well today. That video should already be up on the channel. So if you're interested in checking that out and learning a little bit more about them, be sure to go back and watch that. But today we are talking about the red necked wallaby. So we got this picture, of course, not too much to kind of pick apart. We just got some grass, which looks like the Drin grass to me. No surprise there. And then we have a little tail. But in this screenshot, we get to see the wallaby in all of its cuteness. Look at the nose and the ears and the hands. It's adorable. I'm so excited. One thing that I really cannot wait to see is size comparison between these guys and the red kangaroo that we already have in the game. But the addition of the red necked wallaby is really going to help round out kind of Australian sections in your zoo. You know, we have the red kangaroo, we have the koala, we have the cassowary, um, we have the platypus. So you can really put together a very cool Australian section. I mean, not to mention that we have the Australia pack, one of my favorite packs for Planet Zoo overall. So yeah, very good addition. Not one that I saw coming with the Grasslands pack. I did not even think about these guys, but I love the backdrop that they're in. If you watched my Striped Hyena video, you'll know that I kind of pointed out the grass that we're seeing both in the very foreground on the left-hand side and also to the right behind this first wallaby with the little purple tops. That's a new grass, right? Right? I mean, I, every time we get a screenshot reveal like this or something new, I find myself second guessing how much I actually know about the things that we have in game. But I swear I have never seen this grass before. So I'm going to go ahead and call it new. You can let me know in the comment section down below if I'm right or wrong. Um, other than that, I really don't see too much else. Maybe no. The the grass right behind him looks kind of like the fog grass, right? It's called fog grass. I think it was my new favorite grass piece that I used all over the wolf habitat in River Rock Zoo. But that's kind of what that looks like to me. But then those ferns are not new. The trees are not new. That's like the rainbow eucalyptus tree that we already have. So really those two things right just to the left of that front leg on that front wallaby and then the left in the foreground and just back behind to the right of the wallaby. Those are the grasses that I'm thinking are uh, are new. So yeah, go ahead and let me know. But again, enough about trees, plants, grasses. Let's actually talk about the animal. So these guys live in dry, open forests, grasslands and paddocks. These wallabies are found in East and Southeast Australia and even at Tasmania. They have a distinct rusty red shoulders and upper back, but the rest of their body is silver gray and white. They are small in stature, standing approximately only one meter in height, about three feet tall. So they are relatively small. Think a uh, height of your uh, dining table, I guess, right? Aren't dining tables normally like three feet tall? No, they're a little bit tall. I don't know. They're three feet tall. Get a tape measure, measure three feet tall, and that's how tall they are. There you go, perfect. The redneck wallaby are herbaceous animals and primarily feed on grasses, herbs, and roots, which provide them with the water requirements during the drought or dry season. They are a marsupial, meaning that they have a pouch and give birth to a underdeveloped baby, which will stay in their pouch for further development before coming out into the real world. Their young are called joeys and are born weighing in around two grams or 0.07 ounces. That's so small. So much like the koala, I am very curious if we're going to get a cool birthing animation for these guys. Again, being a marsupial, are they our second marsupial in game? 
right? No. Third, because the wombat's a marsupial, right? Oh my goodness gracious. This is what I get for recording the video at the very end of the day and my brain cells are completely zapped. I'm going to Google it real quick. Yes, wombats are marsupials. There you go, Savannah. So third, third marsupial in the game. So I'm really curious to see if we get a really cool birthing animation for these guys. But talking about conservation, as always, redneck wallabies are actually a protected species and they're thriving in the wild. They're considered least concerned, so that is fantastic. However, it doesn't mean that they are protected or safe forever. So things to keep in mind, as always, you know, habitat destruction and fragmentation are things that really kind of uh, threaten lots of different populations. So good thing that they're protect protected. I think that that's awesome. Uh, but, you know, in the future, we'll still have to keep that in mind so that they don't lose their habitat down the road. But always nice to see a least concerned animal that is thriving out in the wild. So, yeah, that's it about the wallaby, the adorable little wallaby. I love how the one in the back is like all up and alert with its ears forward. Such a cute face. And I love the patterning. Now, from this picture, they both look like they have the same coloration, um, so doesn't look to be two different ones, although it could just be the angle that we're looking at. So I am curious to see what different colorations or if any that we will get in the game when we do actually get our hands on it. So let me know what you think. As always, if you have any more cool wallaby facts, let me know or if there's anything weird that I talked about. When we talked about wallabies, you can also let me know down in the comment section below. Don't give me a hard time for forgetting that wombats are marsupials. I apologize. Again, worked all day. Very tired. Have to do it again tomorrow. But you can always let me know what you think. Thank you so much for watching. And if you enjoyed and you're excited, go ahead and leave a like on the video. And of course, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any future content. You can follow me on all my other social media accounts. The links are down below in the description. And until next time, I will talk to you in the next video. Bye.